So we're here at a place called Caligny Plaza, which is if you follow the road onto Hilton Head Island and end up right at the Atlantic Ocean, there's a big roundabout right out here. That's what all these trees are. Show you that in a second. And um, this is the kind of the shopping plaza. Lots of of uh, restaurants and shops. And uh, every night of the week and on the weekends, pretty much they have music playing. So it's pretty nice. This is typical for uh, these plazas here on the island. There's probably three or four big ones like this that are cool. You got water features. Of course, you got sunglass booths and t-shirt booths. You got hot girls like this walking around. Sweet. <laughs> ice cream This shop. is the, yep, ice cream and custard. Mm -hmm. and That's cool. That's you got funny. duck, they call this the duck pond, where the drowning lady is. There's two baby turtles on her leg. <laughs> Look at that, little baby turtles right there. That is pretty funny. We didn't notice that the other night. There's no ducks at the duck pond. It's pretty cool. Let's go down to the other end here. That's pretty cool. They got that hanging there. Typical restaurant down here. Very, you know, beachy feel. We're gonna walk around. The plaza goes all the way down to that big building and around the front. So there's little walkways and little shops and restaurants and stuff. Let's go check out the other side. Here you go, history of Caligny area, I guess. So if you guys wanna pause and read. There you go. Nice. And right across the street from this, once again, is the beach. And we'll take you over there in uh, just a minute. Here you go, if you want to hit your code on this. Scan that QR code and check in. All right, we're going to go down there to the shops. Quick shot of the shopping plaza. You can see the duck pond there that we're walking around right now. And the different places. I guess there's a Piggly Wiggly in here. In this area over here that's got all these little huts set up for sales. There's some bathrooms back in there. Some on the other side as well. Huh, you must have live music here once in a while. Right here, I don't know. We didn't see any the other night, but maybe it's just on the weekends. Let's go to the street. This is one side of the complex here with different uh, stuff and bike rentals really big down here. Got ice cream and then we ate up at this place. It's called like Big Bamboos and you can see right there there's a guy set up to play music right now. They got a lunch guy, a dinner guy, and then a late night guy. So they do three acts a day. Two on the porch and one inside on a little stage up in there every single day here. So there's tons of music, we love it. And across the street, this is like a, a maze, a little mazy hangout where you can get restaurants and ice cream and stuff like that. And same with over here. There's like little hallways around the back with shops. And but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, go, that's that huge roundabout I just showed you. And then that is, uh, we're gonna go over here by this huge roundabout and then we're gonna walk down to the beach. So let's go do that. Here's a good little uh, map of the island, not just the pathways map, but what you do is when you come in, you come in from up here, you come around, you end up coming right down to where we're at. And this is, uh, this is the roundabout we're at right here. So as you can see, the main road comes in from the, um, from the shore. It's not really showing the bridges or anything like that. You end up coming right down here we're staying like about right there in a hotel. This whole side of the island is called uh, Sea Pines and you gotta pay to get in there, but I think you can bike in for free, but you gotta pay to drive in and that's where all the golf stuff happens. The famous lighthouse that you'll see on the golf tournaments is right there. There's a place called the Salty Dog out here that we wanted to eat, but I'm not, I don't think we're gonna go in this way. 
this time. So Shelter Cove is pretty cool. We got a video on Shelter Cove over here, which has a shopping center, and then they have a really nice park right along the back of the, the cove there, which is cool. But we're gonna show you this, we're in this, uh, the eye right there. That's the Caligny Plaza. Then you got the roundabout, and then we're gonna walk this pathway here. So here's the roundabout. There's a giant roundabout. And if you walk through it, it's almost like a, uh, a little park in there. But we're gonna walk around the outside. We're gonna take this path right here, and we're gonna take you down to the beach over there. So now we're across the street by, by those, uh, that little maze of shops I was telling you about. You could see it from over there, but you couldn't see around this side. You can see there's different uh, t-shirt sales and restaurants and bars and pretty cool. It's very, everything here is really high end. It feels really nice and clean and everybody's really quiet and nice. No loud vehicle crap going on. No garbage, no graffiti, no, no bars on windows. No garbage, no graffiti, nope. no bars on windows. She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Moss in the trees, and we're going to move on down the road. This is pretty funny. Caution, low clearance. Watch out, Truly, look out! Kunk. Katunch. Kakung. This tree is awesome. There's a ton of this type of uh, foliage out here. We love it. So, Cligney Plaza over there, the big roundabout. Lots of free beach parking over here, and then you got this for the kids. They love to jump in the water. Well, there you go. All right. So we're gonna take this walkway down to the beach. Got some really nice restrooms here. They keep them really clean. And uh, what's cool about this? And oh, look at the dog. Woo! Look at that guy. What's cool about this? And it looks like they're working on it. Is they've got like three different swing benches here. And then really high-end uh, anirondack chairs, or anirondack chairs over here that you could sit in. Let's head down. Got the Kona ice cream guy back here. We ate at that restaurant the other day. Check our other video, but we've got a video where we're eating at this restaurant. And you, it's a beautiful little hotel, and you don't have to be a guest there to hang out poolside and eat at that porch, the porch restaurant. So this is the busiest part of the beach. If we walk down to the beach by our hotel, which is down that way, about three or four city blocks, it's not busy at all. It's like half of this, not even half of this. Check our other video for that too. We have a video where we're at the, uh, at the beach there, just walking around. There's no really, you can rent umbrellas and set them up, but they don't do this as much. I guess this is the big tourist spot because you got this walkway in. You don't have to walk through the sand, which is really kind of nice. It's low tide right now. You can see everybody's way out there. But we were here last night at high tide and the tide came up to that, right to where that one's rolled, the end of this, this path here is rolled up right there. That's where the water was, like maybe five feet out from that. So you can see how flat this is. At low tide, it goes way out. At high tide, it comes in. And you can just walk way out in there at high tide and you're not even out that far into the into the water. So this here's kind of a scam that they have going. We learned from a guy over by Myrtle Beach what they do is you can see this box right here. And what the company does is they supply a lifeguard. But really what the lifeguard is is he just rents out tables and or, uh, chairs and umbrellas. And then he's a lifeguard, so they kind of kill two birds with one stone, and the company gets a really good deal on the licensing fees to put up the umbrellas and rent out the chairs, and they make a fortune. And the guy is an official lifeguard, but it looks like here they actually got real lifeguards. You got a lifeguard stand right there, which was way up here last night. I think they just drag it and drop it on the ground where they know the high tide's going to come to. And then we got a a lifeguard situation down here. I think he's doing garbage as well, maybe emptying the garbage cans. And But he's also beach patrol lifeguard thing. So this is it. This is the main beach here at Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Hope you guys dig our videos. If you do, please hit that subscribe, that like button. And we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy.